Hey all, well, my service lights on the bike. Um, got right around a thousand miles on it since my break in service and now it's due for the service by the, uh, the date schedule, not the uh, mileage. So changing oil, do the service, time to do that. But I decided I needed to get the tune ECU program to uh, so I can reset the light and then later on when I bleed the brakes to run the ABS test and all that. So I'm an iPhone user, iOS, I hate computers. That's why I run an iPhone, not an Android. Every time I run an Android phone with friends, I hated it. So unfortunately with tune ECU, you need an Android phone, no iPhone. So I went on uh, Amazon, picked up a uh, Samsung S20, and uh, oh, about 139 bucks for a refurbished one from Amazon and looked like new shape. And also I picked up the uh, OBD Link MX Plus, found that on Amazon also. I think that's also around 139, $129 those Bluetooth. I went with this one versus the cheaper OBD because this works for both uh, iPhone and Android. So you could use it for your vehicle. So I thought, you know, I might as well spend a little extra and get that one. All right, OBD Link MX. This box opens up. Oh, does it to me every time. There we go. Box opens up, three-year warranty. Quick start instructions and OBD link. Come on out. It's a little case. Open this up. It's cold out here, it's 40 degrees. And there's the link. And I think that should be the pair button. Once you're hooked up to pair it with your uh, phone right there. So let's get going here. All right, on the bobber, your uh, OBD connector will be under the right side cover. And then on the scrambler, your connector will be here under the right left side cover so let's pop this cover off pop from the bottom and then both sides here have tabs you've got just grommets in here where the tabs pop in Left, right, and then down. Your OBD connector should be right here. When I downloaded the uh, app from uh, Tune ECU from their website, um, it went to install and it said that it could be dangerous for my phone and I have to go to my apps, to my uh, settings to let it download. And so when I hit the spot where it prompted me to go, I think it was said something about internet. It's the one that I toggled the slider on. And that let me download the app finally. So there's Tune ECU right there. And I'm gonna try this without using Wi-Fi from my uh, iPhone. I don't know if it'll work. The, the gear settings button, tap that. And then I went to license. And uh, it let you go in there and update license and you bought your license. So right now let's see if it lets me do this with the bike without using the Wi-Fi off my phone. So let's go ahead and hook up the OBD link and see if we could pair up just using Bluetooth.
OBD link. Put it on there. Power is on. The link is on. If you can see those flashing lights right there. So let's try to pair up. I think I go to ECU. And uh, connect. No devices have been paired. Scan for devices. Oh, it's scanning. Let me hit the uh, the pair button. See if that does anything. There we go, OBD Link MX, right at the bottom. Go hit that one. So now we're paired. Bluetooth pairing request. Pair. Okay, connected to the OBD Link. And I think at this time we uh, supposed to uh, turn the bike to on, but not run. Okay, so now they turned the bike on. Unregistered bike. Do you want to register it? One of five. You could register up to five on the basic one. Oh, and it cost me just under 30 US dollars for the app. And you got to renew it every year. So I'm pressing yes. Confirm. About to send your account email to the website. Your account email is needed to store your license on the server. Okay. That's it, guys. I got to turn on my Wi-Fi. Still says unregistered bike. Let's register. Yes. Okay. Send account to your email. Allow. Bike registration is done. Okay. So I needed Wi Fi to at least register the bike. <sighs> Try this again. Tests and adjustments. Test the radiator fan. That works. So that hooks up. Exit test. Let's go back to tests and adjustments. Go to adjustments. Reset service interval. And nothing is happening. There we go. Sure, do it by miles. 10,000 miles. And then, it doesn't give you a date. I don't know what this is. So validate. Oh, here we go, here's a date. 2026 so Sunday April 12 which is today I was going to wonder if you could move it forward a few more years so it just doesn't come on but the uh, here we go March April 20 that's it gives you one year validate the date yes reset service interval done okay so, let's go take a look at the dash. So, the light went off on the dash. Turn it off. Turn it 
Turn it on. No light. Let's go to uh, okay, and I change it ten thousand miles four twenty twenty six is the date. That worked. Unfortunately, that's a little finicky. Hit run numerous times and it did not let me do anything there. So, took longer than it should have, but it's done.